Just hours before the start of Hanukkah, at least two shots fired outside a temple in Albany, New York yesterday. While two dozen preschoolers were at the synagogue, none were injured. Police arresting 28-year-old Mufid Fawaz al qadr and charging him federally with illegal possession of a firearm. The case also being investigated as a potential hate crime. We were told by uh, responding officers that he made a comment, uh, free Palestine. Jewish students on college campuses also concerned for their safety. At the University of Pennsylvania, President Liz McGill is under fire following her comments at this week's anti-Semitism hearing on Capitol Hill, where she and the presidents of Harvard and MIT testified for hours, each condemning anti-Semitism while attempting to embrace the importance of free speech. But it was exchanges with New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik that triggered widespread criticism. I am asking specifically calling for the genocide of Jews, does that constitute bullying or harassment? If the speech becomes conduct, it can be harassment, yes. Conduct meaning committing the act of genocide? The answer is yes. Calling for the genocide of Jews violates Harvard Code of Conduct, correct? Again, it depends on the context. It does not depend on the context. The White House weighing in after the hearing. We should all stand firmly against calls for genocide. The governor of Pennsylvania, a Democrat who is also Jewish, taking aim at Penn's president. Leaders have a responsibility to speak and act with moral clarity. And Liz McGill failed to meet that simple test. President McGill attempting to clarify her comments. That a call for genocide of Jewish people is a call for some of the most terrible violence human beings can perpetrate. It's evil, plain and simple. Harvard's president also writing, calls for genocide of any group are vile, adding they have no place at Harvard. President McGill says Penn would immediately examine and clarify its policies regarding speech, but the school is now also facing a major financial hit. A wealthy donor is threatening to withdraw a $100 million donation, calling on the school to replace President McGill. A university spokesperson tells NBC News the board of trustees has no plans, plans to change leadership, but overnight, the board of the influential Wharton School of Business called on her to step down. Guys, back to you. All right, Stephanie, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.